Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. And you got here just in time. That's right, you got here just in time for another edition of Friday's Finds. But before we get into this, this exciting dual product Friday's Finds, fire versus fire. But before we get into that, I want to encourage you to stay with the video until the very end because the winners, the winners of the rechargeable, three of these, rechargeable COB, chip on board camping lanterns, three people are going to be the winners. They're going to, I'm just facilitating the drawing, identifying who those winners are. You're all winners because you're here, but the three product winners will be identified at the end of this video and, and instructions will be given on how to claim your prize. All right, let's get into today's Friday's Find. I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time. I was actually watching an episode of Shark Tank and a product came across and it's very rare that I get excited about products on Shark Tank because most of them don't pertain to me, but this one did. It was all about fire. And you know I like a good old fire. So the product was the InstaFire, fire starter. I found this, oh, before I go get too far into this, I am an Amazon affiliate and I do earn a little revenue if you click one of the links in the description below. Both of these products, well, any product that I discuss will have a link in the description and I do earn a little bit of revenue if you click one of those links. It does help support the channel. There'll also be a link in the, in the cards up above. So if you see a card pop up, it's probably important. So you might want to check it out. I've also seen the InstaFire at Bucky's on the rare occasion that I actually left the gas pump and, and went inside to wander around. I don't do that too very often, but I was in there one day and I saw that this is actually available. I purchased it through Amazon. It's supposedly the most amazing and incredible fire starter on the planet. And one bag actually, they say this will start four fires. We're going to find out how that measures up. Now, for years, years, I say, for years, I have been a big, huge fan of the Chefco Easy Fire Fire Starter. Now, this, this is not anything real. This is not new and innovative. This is cedar sawdust and paraffin wax compressed into a disc. Years ago, Chefco reached out to me and sent me a, a case of these and I did a video and I was sold. I buy a case or two of these every year. One puck, they say will start four fires. I use, typically use half a puck, but I'm, I'm sold rock solid on this. So today's video, we're gonna do a side by side, fire versus fire. Now I do wanna mention, this company, they actually got a, a deal on Shark Tank and Mark Cuban partnered up with these folks to, to put this product on the market. It is a volcanic stone and it'll burn wet. It'll light, it'll light when wet. It supposedly burns at a thousand degrees. I don't know about all that. It's non-volatile. It's got a long burn time, 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, there's no harmful chemicals, safe to store in their food. Uh, it's a natural fertilizer with the ash. This is made with paraffin wax and cedar sawdust. The cedar's organic. Paraffin, not so much, but no more than what you're using. I don't think it's gonna hurt the environment too bad. Uh, it smells like a candle when it's burning. I actually soaked one of these in a bucket of water for 24 hours and lit a fire with it while it was still wet. So I'm gonna set the stage and the stage is over here. 
I'm going to put the, the, the two life do. I have two life do grills. That's, that's the uh, original life do flat pack grill of theirs that's rock solid. This was the first one that I own. I really like them both. They both have advantages and a, a couple of detractors. But we're going to use them in a side by side comparison. So let me get the stage set and I'll cut back in. The stage is set. We're ready. Fire versus fire. Dude RV takes on Mark Cuban. <laughs> All right, so fire versus fire. As you, I've got things laid out here. This is Big John's Grilling Wood, and if you're not familiar with that, that's uh, a local. I don't know if it's a local. I buy that at Albertsons. It's kiln dried. This is hickory. I've tried to get the wood pieces all the same, uh, approximately the same size. Now I'm not a backpacker. I'm, I'm not throwing a. I'm not hiking very far. I'm, I'm an RVer. I roll up to a campground. I buy a bundle of firewood at the front gate or at the convenience store, and I put that in the fire plate pit there at the campsite, and I light it. I'm not I'm not making wood shavings. I'm not doing the bow and spindle and the spark off the the flint. I got a propane torch. I just want the wood to burn. I'm not in a survival situation. That being said, both of these products are appropriate for that type of fire. Uh, the the fire starter might actually be better because it's a little more compact it's about the same volume you know but but this will pack down flat and if if you're a real outdoorsman you can use just a little bit of that and, and that'll light more than four fires but both companies say that this will light four fires and that this will light four fires i just have to figure out exactly how to portion that out this breaks in half real easy so the first the very first thing we're going to do is take one quart and that the insta fire says that that will burn up to a thousand degrees they don't make any claims on the chef co anywhere that i found that the temperature it doesn't really matter. I don't know if the chef co company makes any claims on their their fire starter as how, as far as how hot it gets, but we're gonna we're gonna test that out. We're gonna take a fourth of each and put it in here. And to make it equal, I've lined both the bottom both with foil. I had to use the foil because this is a granule. That's a granule and it would fall through the grate so that's kind of a detractor for me because someday i'll show you how i start a fire meanwhile let's play with some fire so we're going to take we'll go with with the, a smaller one because we just want to see how well that burns i need something to scoop that with we got to we got to divide this into I don't need any snide comments about cutting this, this white stuff on my table. Yeah. I guess that's a, a, a fourth. So I'll take one of those piles and put it in there. Maybe easier said than done. We're ready for a torch. 
Actually, we're going to use just a, a regular lighter. And then stopwatch. So we're going to put the flame to both of these and see how long they respectively burn. Well, the Instafire has certainly gotten hot faster. So we'll just let it let it burn and see how long it burns. So the Instafire definitely gets hotter faster. So the the Chefco brick is at two twenty four. And that's at five six hundred five sixty six to six hundred. We're a minute and a half into the burn. It looks like the Insta fire is kind of the, the the outer surface is burned, and now it's slowing down. Whereas the the Chefco fire starter the brick it seems to be getting hotter and bigger now there are instructions on the insta fire that you've got to stir it around they recommend you stir it so it flares back boop flares back up so we're not at, we're, we're still holding at 600 degrees and 600 and 500 degrees, 800 degrees on the Insta fire. 600 degrees on the Chefco brick. Now we gotta stir that again. Four minutes into the burn. This is the third time I've had to stoke that. It seems to be kind of dying off a little bit. So there's no question that the Instafire is hotter, but it's, it's not very consistent in the burn. It keeps dying down, whereas the wax, the Chefco, keeps burning consistent. So both of them now are right at 650 degrees. But this one looks like it's all, the, the, the Instafire looks to be <laughs> out of fire. Well, that just went out. <laughs> here's what I'm here's what we're going to do. Since I had the Instafire packet open, I, I need to burn all of it up. Uh, there's no point. In that. There's no point in having an open package of that stuff floating around. So I'm gonna burn it all off, which means I need to burn the other three quarters of the the Chefco fire starter puck. So we'll do three quarters and three quarters, and four pieces of kiln dried hickory i've already made my decision but i'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse burn on these enjoy this flame
All right, all right, all right. I sure hope y'all enjoyed me watching me burn wood out on the patio and doing the fire versus fire test on those two different fire starters. That was one of my favorite product videos to make to date. Meanwhile, we got to give away some LED camping lanterns. These 2,000 lumen camping lanterns, the Adelante store is giving away three of those, and they asked me to facilitate that. Three people who posted a comment on the video about a month ago, the best camping lantern out there. I'm going to give away three of those today. Adelante store will be fulfilling that. So the winners will need to reach out to me at dudervtexas at gmail.com and I will give you the contact information, put you in touch with the people that are going to send you that lantern, the best camping lantern out there. We're going to use a random comment picker from your comments on this video right there. Three of you are going to win one of these cool lanterns just in time for Christmas. We're at pickawinner.co. We've pasted in our YouTube video. Let's fetch it. Anything goes. All right. Ready for winner number one? Drum roll, please. Melissa Garcia. Wow. Congratulations, Melissa. Reach out to me at dudarvy at gmail.com and I'll, I'll make sure that you get your lantern. All right, let's go for number two. Number two is... Boom, Tina Gallagher. Tina, you won again. Hot dog. Tina's been with me a long time. All right, number three, coming up. Budman0705. He gave us a real great reply to what a COB LED light is. Chip on board. Multiple light chips built into one module instead of individual models. All right. You good folks reach out to me at dudervtexas at gmail.com. And we'll make sure that you guys get your COB lanterns from Adelante Store. And if you're in the market for one, hey, I'll go ahead and include a, a link to this page in the description below. And heck, I'll put one right up there at the top of the screen as well, because these are cool lights. Let's go back to the patio and finish burning some wood. All right, there you are. There you are, three, fan, three winners of a fantastic prize. And I really appreciate y'all getting in on the contest and i'll i'll see about getting some more of these some more stuff to give away congratulations to the winners i got so excited about giving away cob lanterns i almost forgot i was doing the final edit and i realized i didn't tell you which one i like best i think it's pretty obvious though i'm i'm still rock solid fan of the the chef co fire starter uh, it just fits my lifestyle so very well. Links in the description below. In the description below, it, it's also in the card popping up right there. This is not necessarily a bad product. I think this is a great product if you're you're a backpacker, you're into that uh, rough style camping, not the glamping that we do. If if you're going out in a backpack into the woods, I think this would be. Probably a better option for you than this one, simply because it, it's, it takes up less space. Weight difference, this is probably a little lighter. Uh, and you don't have to use quite as, probably not as much. But either way, this, this is what I'm going to be buying because it, it, it fits my lifestyle really well. You might want to figure out which one works best for you. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, we would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. 
That's why I get to play with fire. For you. That's why I get to give away stuff. For you. Thank you. That's, that's why we're here. And for the patrons, you rock. Thank you so much. All right. We're done. Y'all come back now, you hear?